Samantha Raj, and I'm the founder and director of District of Raga. Uh, launched in 2017, District of Raga is focused on presenting and preserving the performing arts and culture of South Asia. Our main goal is to connect artists to audiences. We are honored to be partnering with the Kennedy Center to present tonight's concert, featuring Aditya Prakash Trio. Aditya Prakash, an award-winning vocalist, known for his powerful and emotive voice, is a young virtuoso of Carnatic music and one of the youngest musicians to tour and perform with Ravi Shankar at the age of 16. Tonight, he is joined by Erica Dohi on piano, Kamala Kiran Vinjamuri on violin, and together they will explore a genre-fluid space as musicians who have deep roots in the classical traditions of Carnatic and Western. The performance is in response to the celebration of Diwali, a festival commonly associated with the triumph of awareness, compassion, and illumination over hate, ignorance, and darkness. A very happy to Diwali to those who celebrate. Please welcome Aditya Prakash Trio. Like stillness hidden in the ground. Paladamareya ruchiyante. Like flavor that's inherent within a fruit. Tiladamareya tailadante. Like oil that's inherent within a seed. Maradamareya tejadante. Like fire that's inherent within wood. Bhavadamareya brahmavagipa. Love or divinity is inherent within our human heart and our feeling. These lyrics are written by Akama Devi, a 12th century poet from Karnataka. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here celebrating Diwali with you all. The reason we started with this song is to me, this is lightness. When I sing this raga, when I hear this raga, and for those of you who don't know what raga is, it's the skeletal definition is it's a melodic framework. But more than that, a raga is a living, breathing entity that has a personality, a feeling. Um, and we tap, it's like we know this person, this raga is a, is a dear friend of ours as we continue to sing it. And this raga for me makes me feel like I'm floating, um, that kind of lightness. And I offered um, the prayer of Akama Devi, of that feeling of love that's within all of us, that sometimes feels like 
so elusive, but it's there. And um, we're so lucky as artists that we get to so readily access that love through music. Um, the, the melody you heard Erica beautifully playing was inspired from a song of mine in collaboration with a dear friend of mine, Sushma Soma, called Nature, uh, from her album called Home, which is about man's relationship to in the environment and sustainability and wildlife. And it's a beautiful album, and I hope you all can check it out. It's available everywhere. Um, how many people, raise your hand if you've, you're aware of Carnatic music or you know what Carnatic music is, please. Yeah, okay, we've got some fans, Carnatic fans. Okay, that was very lukewarm, but <laughs> hopefully you can, by the end of the concert, we can get more Carnatic fandom. Um, so in Carnatic music, it's considered a classical music of South India. With the sense of classical, there's typically we explore these beautiful feelings, these uplifting feelings the feelings that are beyond the human feelings, the feelings that are divine, the feelings that take us beyond the world. And even the sadness that we explore, there's a beauty in that. There's an upliftment in that sadness. There's that longing for something beyond this human exploration, this human emotional spectrum. Um, and I wanted to explore the very chaotic, anxiety-driven, unsettling emotions that sometimes I felt as a human and through a very Carnatic framework. So that gave birth to the song we're about to play for you. Um, it, would be, it would be considered experimental by Carnatic standards. It's called Shifting Sa. And later, this is the, be the beginning building blocks to a piece I later developed and expanded called Isolation, which I'll be releasing uh, next year. Um, June, July 2023. So we're going to offer you the song Shifting Sa. Then I'm 
Thank you. I'm so lucky to be joined by these two incredible artists. Please give it up for Erica Dohi on piano. And Kamala Karen Minjamuri on violin. We actually met for the first time yesterday to play together for this show. And everything has been coordinated over Zoom. And we've worked separately in different, in different groups and different formats. But this is the first time we're playing together and it's such a beautiful experience. And we're happy you could be here. The next song uh, we're going to present. Um, so the next few songs are actually, I'm going to refer to the lockdown because that was a very kind of important period for me as an artist with, with the lows and the highs. And of course, I must state my privilege that the lockdown was a time where I wasn't struggling to stay alive. I was able to, I had a, a home to live in. I had a loving family and my lows were just artistic slumps and obviously not performing. Um, but then there was also the artistic highs where I had time to develop new work, time to just sit and be bored, time to not be on autopilot mode, and time to actually feel these emotions that were so deep and so raw. And the next song you're going to hear is called Memories. Um, it's about that feeling of not being connected with your loved one um, and relying on those memories that are becoming more and more far and they more and more are becoming less real and it's the shifting between those beautiful memories and the sad memories and everything the joy the pain the sadness but it all just starts it's drifting away and that feeling of 
those beautiful moments slipping away. The song is called Memories. the 
Erica Dohi. So during the pandemic, staying inspired was a task. Literally, I had to give myself tasks to stay motivated. So one thing I would do is I would time myself and see how long I could sing a continuous phrase without taking a breath. And it started with 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then a minute. And obviously, I needed to take a breath, but my the the intention of this task was to limit my breaths um, and sing as many fast consecutive notes as I could. And I slowly started increasing that. And then after May 2020, that number, I started setting at seven minutes, 46 seconds. And it's a number that we all know. We think of George Floyd. Um, it was unbelievable that someone could undergo that kind of trauma, inhumane trauma, um, and to watch it, to have it on film and to see it, it was absolutely disturbing. Um, so the reason I set it for 746, which is an absurdly long time, is this wasn't a task for me anymore. It was, a, it was an offering, a tribute. And uh, in Carnatic music, improvising for seven minutes, 46 seconds doesn't seem like a long time because we can do an improvisation for 20 minutes, 40 minutes. But that 746 felt like hell, like it was never ending. Even after two minutes, I was just struggling and dying and, and, and just barely able to get through. And it was a very immersive experience and I wanted to share this tribute and offering to George Floyd with you all. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to improvise for 7 minutes, 46 seconds without a break. Um, I just need one person in the front to be a volunteer who has a, an iPhone, or not an iPhone, I guess. I'm, I'm an iPhone elitist. But um, any sort of phone that has a timer. So if you can raise your hand, somebody in the front that wants to be an integral part of this piece. <laughs> Nothing you have to do except just set a timer. Thank you. Any chance we could turn on the house lights for this? Just so I can see. Nope, okay. and, and one, one thing I want to note is 
the original time was noted as eight minutes, 46 seconds, and Dave Chappelle did that Netflix special called 846, but it was later um, noted that it was actually seven minutes, 46 seconds. Um, and that also saved me a minute of syncing. Um, so if you could set your timer to seven minutes, 46 seconds, and what I'm gonna request of you is on every minute, if you can just raise your hand so we have a sort of marker to know. Oh yeah, no, take your time. Thank you so much, by the way. If, it, if it's a problem for you, maybe somebody else could. You got it? Okay, cool, thank you. Um, so, I appreciate that. So if you can set it for 746, and like on every minute after 60 seconds, after every minute, if you can just raise your hand. Yeah? And then that will give us a clue as to how much time is left. And maybe on the, the last seven minute, if you can just show me your phone so I can, if you can just turn it towards me, then I can see. Appreciate it, thank you. I'll give you a countdown to start. Ma 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 
Thank you so much. The next piece is called Monsoon. It's about the idea of time. Time is a constant as we know it, as we look at a clock. But exploring that constant with our real sense of time, which is an emotional thing, time is never constant. Sometimes one minute feels like forever, or sometimes 10 days feels like an instant. So it's playing with this emotional quality of time.
Thank you. Before we conclude with one last song, I wanted to give a big thanks to District of Raga and the Millennium Sage Kennedy Center, the team who made it so comfortable and easy for us here. And thank you all for being here. Um, if you like some of the music, I have um, some CDs out there from some of my previous albums. Um, and uh, we're actually going to conclude with a song from my latest album called Diaspora Kid. It's called Ambiga. And it's a song about having faith during the tough times. And Ambiga means boatsman. So the poet of the song says, God or that being that I believe in is my boatsman carrying me across this unpredictable ocean of life. And I know I'm gonna get to the other shore because I have my boatsman, Ambiga. Um, but before that, I want to turn on the house lights again. Me and Kamal Kiran are going to improvise on three ragas of your choice in the audience. So for you, for you Carnatic music fans, if you have any ragas you want to hear. Okay, I heard Kiravani Suruti. Huh? I heard a mix of three names. Whoever's the loudest will get the third one. I heard Revati. Okay. So... Um, Kiravani, Suruti, Revati. Okay, cool. And then we're going to go into Ambiga. Thank you all again so much, and I look forward to talking to you after the concert.
Thank you so much. Erica Dohi on piano, Kamal Kiran Vinjamuri on violin. My name is Aditi Prakash. Thank you so much. Good job. Thank you for joining us at Millennium Stage.